Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4. I'm gonna do some coding calls. Hey Snake, something I've been meaning to ask you. That canyon, isn't that where you demolished Raven's tank? How'd you do it anyway? How? Oh. Uh, well, grenades. That's it? You didn't use an anti-tank missile or something? Didn't have one. Your technique is kind of... Well, how do I put this? Archaic when it comes to fighting tanks. Honestly, I don't think it'd work on today's main battle tanks. Well, that's how I did it. What do you want me to say? You know, I asked an active duty army officer once. If an infantryman had to take on a tank one-on-one, -on -one, how should he do it? And what was his answer? Don't. He swore there's no way in hell a single infantryman could take down a tank by himself. Huh. Interesting. I always suspected there was a little something crazy about you, Snake. But hearing that story, now I know it. You're nuts! Single-handedly taking out a tank? That's crazy! You're insane! Otacon, is this your idea of a compliment? Yes! You're the toughest, craziest, most hardcore badass on the planet. You're the shit. <laughs> okay, Otakan. Just a little farther to my lab. Go to the south end. Mm -hmm. of the okay, Central okay, hallway. I got it. I wonder if I can get the other one. Just a little nope, farther. Nope. I need to call an auditor, Ara. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, no, I don't need to talk about that. I think I can just choose it later. I have a cunning plan. Oh. Everything looks exactly like I remember it. Except for that wall way in back, anyway. I still can't believe how much damage you caused in such a small space. Ah, the switchboard. Nailed it with a remote control missile to shut down the electric current in the floor. The guidance system in those things takes up so much space, it hardly leaves any room for explosives. Didn't make much of a bang, huh? Hardly. Switchboard's still intact. You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. Did you notice how Otakon just like pushed his pushed pushed his glasses back on? Although he's not wearing any glasses. That's weird. Anyway. Get 1,000 dripping points if you listen to those. Hold on. I want to check security. Because 
I completely forgot. Can you punch it in for me? It's a five digit number. Yeah, we're gonna fuck that password. There are uh, three, actually there might be four secret passwords, but the uh, survey guide gives us uh, three secret passwords. And we're, I'm gonna put those in the uh, description, and I'm gonna put one of them in now. Because I think I've only taken one of the two secret iPod tunes. And uh, this is one of them. Three, one, four... And uh, six two. Six two. And three, four, six two. Enter. <laughs> yep, that's right, because we heard the damn monkey. up any unpleasant memories, is it? <laughs> I was being attacked by Frank Yeager. Yeah, I remember. If you hadn't shown up when you did, uh, gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Snake, you saved my life. Frank's body. But it was me that crippled him in the first place. She must have hated me too. <sighs> we shouldn't have been so trusting. I blame myself too. I helped develop Rex. That's why it was so easy for me to believe her feelings were genuine. But she was only using us to atone for her sins. So what? What did she do to us? You forgot already? She betrayed you. She stole your blood. If that was all, it should have been over and done with in South America. Why'd she join us afterward? Well, I... I uh... She has us come rescue her, and then she turns around and goes straight back to Liquid. Why would she do that? I don't know, Snake. But it looks like she's still with him. What? I just had a look at the security access logs. As I thought, there's people coming and going at frequent intervals. In fact, the records show some recent activity. 